Hello, my tubies, my TikToker, Sheeta True Love here with you. Just got off work and I'm here with you. And I want to talk about how love is just not enough. And that's just a fact. You know, when you look at the divorce rate, which is like, it's, it's way over 50% now. And you combine that with the separation rate, you know, that's, you put them together and it's like 90%, I'm almost sure. And uh, most of the um, conflicts that you have in these relationships it's basically because of lack of communication, infidelity, and money problems. So when people are going around trying to get you to believe that love is enough and that should get you through, that's not true. Listen to a, a, a female, a lady who has been married 2.5 times. I always say three times because I was with him for over seven years living with this man. So you can say I've been married three times. And when it came to, well, my first husband, my children's father, he was an awesome provider, always a great provider. He used to give me his whole paycheck plus the pay stub, you know, because he knew that I was going to do the right thing with the money and I wasn't foolish. But, you know, uh, money is definitely an issue in a lot of marriages. I know my, uh, my, my third relationship of marriage, dude was cheap and stingy. You know what I'm saying? He was too cheap and too stingy for my taste. I couldn't live like that. But he did teach me something. He taught me that I know that I can never be with a cheap and stingy man. Uh, never. No, I can't do that. Because show me where a man spends his money and I'll show you what's important to him, what he values and what he loves. But anyway, without further ado, let's listen into this young lady who she's smart and she's speaking facts. You know, you can't argue with facts and you can't argue with, with data. You can't argue with research, well-researched, and you can't argue with experts. Anyway, here we are. I understand that some of us will never be saved from this mindset, okay? It isn't only about love. It is about money. It is also about money. Love will not pay the mortgage. It will not feed the children. It will, it will not keep you living, okay? You, you cannot eat and survive without money. It cannot only be about love. You have to look at the finances. And I understand that we were taught. We were taught growing up that if you look at the finances, you're not a good woman. And I understand that. I understand that we were taught you're a gold digger and that's a bad thing. But it's not. It's not because we're just we're just talking about day to day life. We're talking about everyday expenses. I'm not talking about diamond jewelry and first class trips around the world and designer clothes and shoes. I'm talking about literally how you live, how you eat, where you lay your head, where your children live and eat and lay their heads. These things matter. But we have this idea that love is all we need and love is not all we need. It will never be all we need because most people get married for love and they're divorcing over the car getting repossessed. They're divorcing over lack of finances. So this, this romanticizing of love and this love story, I wish I could end it for everybody. Love is only part of the equation. It cannot be the entire equation because your life, you have to live in your life. What will your life be? It is not materialistic to want to live in financial stability. It's not, it's not. And, and no, we're not here to build each other up. We're not here to build each other up. That is, no. No, those days are over. Those days are over. We might help each other in a time of need, but to build somebody up. I am 42 years old. I met my husband when I was 37 and he was 48. We got married when I was 38 and he was 49. If I had to build that man in his late 40s, it was never going to happen because at that point in his life, if he had not attained success already, it was never going to happen. So I don't know, maybe if you're younger, you can entertain building, but as a woman who was in her late thirties dating and now I am in my early forties, I'm not helping anybody build squat. So no, no more building people up. No more love is all we need. Those days are over. I agree with her 110%, if not a thousand percent. You know, we have to stop romanticizing struggle love. You know, there's nothing romantic about that. Because one thing people fail to realize is that when poverty walks in the door, you can trust and believe 
love, it flies right out the window. When poverty walks in the door, love flies out the window, sweetheart. A lot of us are taught that it is very noble to marry for love, you know, but as you mature, you, you begin to realize that that's just a fairy tale. Yeah, that's, that's a fairy tale, my darling. And I love the point that she made that love is just like, it, it, it's a, um, it's a fragment of the relationship because you can't pay bills with love, but we love each other. That's not going to pay the rent or the mortgage. That's not going to pay the utility bill. That's not going to pay and put food in the refrigerator. Keep your Wi-Fi going, your cell phones, uh, pay it for the car payments or put gas in the car. Love is not going to do all of that. So let's stop romanticizing struggle love. Love is just not enough. 